Hi guys, it's Tiny Tay and I'm back today with some Starbucks shenanigans. As you can tell, I'm so sorry that my lighting is mid. I have misplaced the um, light bulb for my box lights, which I don't know. But quick little life update, I moved. As you guys can see, we haven't been on the futon in a very long time and we are back on the futon, so that feels very nice. Um, but in moving, I have a lot, a lot of things, um, and not enough time to kind of get those things found. Ultimately, I am using my ring light today, and I think it'll still do just great, um, especially for the purpose of this video. So, if you are new here, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment and stick along for our journey. But this is going to be a long video, um, specifically because I have an insane amount of Starbucks cups. And as you can see by the title of this video, um, this will be my last Starbucks full collection video at this point in life. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the cups that I have, but I'm also going to talk about this at the same time. So I'll be saying like a little bit about the cups, but mostly we're going to talk about why this is my last Starbucks full collection video, how I'm feeling about Starbucks, you know, a little update, the whole gist. We're gonna get right into it. So yeah, I hope you guys are ready for a long ride. Also, sorry if you guys hear music or anything in this video. My neighbor is not considerate at all, so let's get into it. We're gonna start with our cold cups. We are kind of gonna do this in like little sections, and then for the last section we're gonna move into the kitchen because I have most of the cups that I'm going to be keeping in the kitchen and I did not bring them back and forth like we're gonna go over those in the kitchen so first I have a large amount of cold cups because they're my favorites and I usually drink mostly um, iced drinks so let's get into it okay so first we have this Christmas cold cup selection um, I don't know why I said selection I guess that was like my word for multi cups here but um yeah so this is one of my favorites it was a Christmas release and it's sparkle cold cups I will absolutely be keeping these ones as you can see here I took the straws out for whatever reason but yeah these are my babies and since I'm keeping it I'll open it and show you guys I'm obviously not gonna open the ones that I'm not keeping but here they are cute and glittery next we have the pride color um set which i will be keeping one of these sets but i do have two um i love this color i feel like the primary primary colors in these were so nice and i feel like these actually did very good changing some of the changing ones do not change very good and that's not my business to unpack but that's like kind of the reason of all of this like i just feel like starbucks was becoming so kind of lazy with their designs and this was also one of the first cold cup packs that ever came out everybody was going crazy for these and I got these for $50 which is a steal because people were buying these for like $300 um, I just feel like they were kind of getting lazy with some of their designs and not necessarily putting in the care that they deserved also the quality was the same I'll be keeping these two because I love these speckled color changing ones um, was the same, yet they were continually raising the prices on studded cups and the stainless steel cups was another example too. They were already more expensive to begin with. I just felt like it was going, um, for the price increases that were occurring. This is another one of the sparkly ones. I don't know why I got two of these, but that's very on brand for me, honestly. But if the quality is not increasing and only the popularity is, I'm not sure why you guys would can continually like be raising the price especially when all of their menu prices have increased multiple times since I first started collecting which I do have some cups that are from like 2015-2014 when really nobody well I shouldn't say nobody cared about cups but the cups were nearly not as popular as they are now and it's like I do understand that whatever they want to stay competitive or you know like Obviously prices do have to increase over time at some point, but the prices were increasing were so kind of unnecessary in my opinion, especially because they were are a huge company. They're still going to make millions regardless. Honestly, I just felt like it was turning into more of like a take from your customer thing instead of a like, oh, we need this to keep our business afloat kind of thing, which obviously they don't since they are a huge business anyway. But I don't know, it just kind of started to feel like highway robbery for me and I'm like, and I ultimately am just not 
super interested in that. Plus, I don't ever go there for coffee. Um, I go there with my friends and I will get food. But I don't go there for coffee. I haven't gone there for coffee unless I try something new on release day. But they haven't even brought out any new freaking flavors or drinks or literally anything. Like, it's nothing but the same as it was three years ago. Yet, prices have increased. Quality has gone down. They never have dairy-free milk. And it's like, fine, I get there was an oat milk, sh oat milk shortage. There was a shortage of literally everything. But that's inconvenient to me as a customer, so I'm making my coffee at home. Like, I have two um, espresso machines, as you guys know, if you are on this channel a lot. So it's like, it's not worth it for me to go there, which is totally fine. It's not like it's going to make a difference in their sales at all. But it was just to the point where it's like, it wasn't worth it for me to go there for anything other than cups. And I feel like the cup creativity just is very mid for the price increase now. Or they're just giving us the leftovers of studded cups that they've already sent overseas a plethora of times. And then we get it and everyone in the United States is like, oh, we're finally getting it. And it's like, they had that in Asia two years ago. I don't know. It's just starting to feel very lazy and like re-washing or repurposing the same cups for you know, one country and then sending it over to the next country, it's like, it's not giving anymore for me, basically. I don't feel the love, like, not that I ever really felt the love, but I feel like there were times where, like, I actually bonded with, like, my local Starbucks baristas and I enjoyed that, versus now you go there and it's like they're rushing you out the door, <laughs> There, there's, like, no conversation, you have to wait a long time, like, and don't get me wrong, you were gonna have to wait. Anyway, it's a part of fast food or food service process which I totally get but it's just like there's no incentive for me to go there it's expensive and there's no like you know like Chick-fil-A is expensive but you go there for the experience because the people are really nice because the employees go above and beyond you're not getting that at Starbucks every time I go to Starbucks the employees look so over it and drained and they look like they hate it there which definitely does not incentivize me to go there or or it's like you ask some questions and they don't like actually know about coffee or like I don't know it's just that's kind of where I'm at with it if they ever brought back kiwi star fruit refresher I'd be all over that it was one of my favorites um and plus also I feel like they take away all the good stuff and then never bring it back like Taco Bell taking away their nacho fries every time I don't go back to Taco Bell anymore because how many times do you think I'm gonna keep playing this push and pull game with you like I'm not like, I don't need the fries that bad. I don't need the drinks that bad. I swear, also, making your drinks at home hits so good. Like, it's just something that feels so good about, like, making your own drink that tastes good. And it's, like, ultimately, the money that I was spending at Starbucks, I put that towards my syrup collection now, and it works a whole lot better for me. Like, I obviously was spending a whole lot more on Starbucks because, because it's 8 or $9 per drink, you know, especially if you're getting a big size. But... I spend literally like $120 on my syrups for my cart once a year and like that syrup lasts me all year. If not longer. Like a lot of the times I just have to replace my basic ones that I'm using um, every day like vanilla or caramel. And even then with buying two espresso machines, pods for those machines, and syrups, I still save more money than I did going to Starbucks. That's good for me. That's good for my bank account. But also I'm kind of at a point in life where it's like... I don't need a million cups in my cabinets. I would like to get rid of some of these cups, especially because it's like, they're just plastic cups. Yes, they are so cute and I love them so much. But ultimately, I don't need as many as I have, so I will be condensing my collection to only the ones that I absolutely love or the ones that are nostalgic to me. So not only will that help me like declutter my space and have room for other things. But also, I just feel like it would make me feel a lot better to have, I don't know, to not have 50 cups. Don't get me wrong, I always use my cups. I was not one of those people that, like, only had them for display. Like, that was never me. If I bought a cup, I was using it. There are very few cups in my collections that have not been used. But yeah, that's kind of just where I'm at with it. I think I'm... I would not say over it because if they do drop a cup that I like, like, I'll still get it. And I'm not going to be a hater despite, you know, just complaining and being a hater for 10 minutes. Like, I'm really not a hater. If you want to go to Starbucks, absolutely, like, I support that. Like I said, I still go with my friends. There are, there's food there that I love. Like, I absolutely love the turkey pesto panini. That 
until the day they take that away, they will always get some type of money from me. But, like, drink-wise, I just don't go there for drinks. And, like, a lot of the stuff you can make at home, but I've never successfully recreated the turkey pesto panini, and I've never had any other panini that successfully recreated it either. So I'm not trying to be a hater because I will be keeping a lot of cups. Like, I do still very much enjoy collecting cups. And, of course, that including Starbucks cups. But I'm just not going to be, like frantically collecting them like I was before or going after them or paying extra or buying them online so with that being said as you can probably tell what I'm gonna say next is that I will be selling a large majority of my cup collection I know that there are tons of other people out there who still collect and still love them just as much if not more than I do um, and I want to give them an opportunity to kind of get any cups that they don't have or to or whoever whatever whomever may want um cups or anything like that this is from 2015 it's one of my favorites to have an opportunity especially from someone who is reputable because I still see so many Starbucks cup stick scams out there and Stanley cup scams have started as well so it's like you have to be very careful I can decide if I'm going to sell them on Mercari or eBay yet I haven't decided um, but if you're interested in buying I'll put the link to my Mercari down below um, and by the time this video comes out hopefully I will have some listed on either there or ebay and i will update you guys in the link with the caption this is one of my favorites actually um so that if you'd like to buy any you can or if you know anybody that's looking for them you can they will be absolutely reasonably priced i'm not some of these are not even worth more than retail to begin with so i would never put them as more than retail but as a lot of you guys know selling sites do take out their own fee which is fine but with that being said shipping will not be free and shipping has already gotten so expensive with everything else this year um it's just not an option to be free at this point in time in this channel that i don't love or have no attachment to or don't have a chance to use that often will be going up for sale which I'm sure is understandable to most collectors um, when you're out there searching for it at 6 a.m. you kinda get that exciting feeling when you like oh my god grab a cup that's brand new which I definitely still do get that feeling about most of my cups um, but some of them I don't so that's an opportunity for me to declutter and give somebody else a chance to love these cups, use these cups maybe more than I would. But that is the end of our cup collection in this area. We're going to move over to the kitchen real quick. Like I said, I have a lot in there still, so don't judge me because I'm not getting rid of everything. This will just be my final time updating my cup collection with you guys and specific to my Starbucks cups. Of them, as you can already see, this video is going to be like 25 minutes, so let's go head over to the kitchen so I don't make it any longer. Okay guys, so we're back and in the kitchen right now. Um, so as you can kind of see, this cabinet's peeking open a little bit, but let's get into my cups that I will be for sure keeping. I mean, I'm definitely going to be keeping some of those as well, but I haven't separated those specifically. These are just like my ultimate favorites that I will be keeping no matter what. So this one's kind of miscellaneous, um, it has other cups in it that's not Starbucks cups, but first we have this glass mug. Also, I did find my light bulb because my camera died, so I decided to let it charge. Um, and in that time, I found the light bulb so that way we could have good lighting because my kitchen lighting honestly sucks. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. I love that blue ombre aura type aesthetic. Then I have my baby Starbucks Reserve class from when I went to the Reserve in Chicago. Um, I do have a vlog about that. Then I have another glass grande. Also another thing that I want to ask you guys is to please keep it cute in the comments. I know that this is probably like the most negative video that I have where I really share like my true um, kind of feelings and opinions with you guys right now, but I do ask that you still keep it respectful in the comments. If you cannot share your opinion, you're disagreeing, you're agreeing with me, whatever it may be that you want to share. This is an Iron Man one that my bestie Caitlin made for me. 
so I ask that you keep it all cute and clean in the comments you absolutely can disagree with me or say whatever you have to say or even when you're replying to other people's comments please be nice um bullying is something that i have never allowed on my channel i will never allow it on my channel um i got bullied the majority of my school experience um and this page is for fun this page is for kicks and giggles like i made this channel to have an outlet and to share things with the world and yes i do know that the world can be cruel but that does not mean you get to be cruel in my space or on my platform because i do not stand for that and i will not allow it so if you cannot keep your comment nice don't type it don't send it but if you happen to do both it will be deleted that is all i ask keep comments nice and that's not asking for a whole lot Honestly, I loved the idea of these cups. They used to call them kaleidoscope cups. I have no idea what they're actually called. But they scratch so easy. I love this one, though. It kind of reminds me of a tooth. Like, I don't know. It just feels very much like tooth. Like, if you've ever seen a shark tooth, it, it kind of looks like that. The idea for the kaleidoscopes was absolutely there, but the execution was lacking. This is cabinet full of cups, as you can see. Um, so let's get into it. But, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about the cups and what's happening with me and the cups. I love you guys still. I know a lot of you guys join my page for Starbucks cups, Starbucks cups information. I do definitely still share information and cups on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, you should check it out. Um, because I will still be posting information on there. And I will still be posting release day videos. Just not nearly as much as I have before. Um, it's getting increasingly hard it's early in the morning, especially given that I do pretty much have clinicals three to four days a week. It's not very easy when I already have to be somewhere at six. And although we did just get new Starbucks built in my town, which is pretty exciting, um, yeah, I still don't have the time or I cannot wake up at 4 a.m. To, to go. And school is pretty much my main priority, so if I do get around to going to it later in the day, um, and I there's still cups, I will absolutely still find them, but if not, unless I am clinical free or on a break... Mm, likelihood is low just given with how much time it takes and like having to still drive to places that I have to go to I miss the days where clinical was just at school um that's called COVID nursing school for you and you didn't have to go anywhere like that was just such a good time but unfortunately those days are over this one broke but I love it um and it broke of course a long time after it released so I don't want to buy a new one. Um, I still use it even with the chip in it because it's a cup and I like it. But yeah, my point is just that it can be very hard. And since I'm already kind of growing out of it, it seems more of me putting myself in an inconvenient position to wake up at 4 a.m. sometimes to do these things. Okay, guys, I just want to take the time to point out that it's 5.42 and it's still light outside. Oh, I'm so happy. I can't wait for summer or spring, or literally just any 50 degree day. Um, I know that the groundhog just told us we're getting six more weeks of winter, but these last two weeks in Minnesota have been absolutely brutal. It's been down to negative 20, negative 25 here, or it, or it's like warm at negative 10, but then the windshield is freaking wicked and it feels like negative 30. It's been a long two weeks, and it's just so nice knowing that we survived the longest 10 weeks again. This is my, I think, fourth or fifth time surviving those long, dark, freaking 10 weeks. And I would say, aside from the first year that I lived here, <laughs> this is probably the best that I have handled it since. Um, I kind of talked about this before. Um, in other videos and my vlogmas, but I, half of my followers did not watch my vlogmas, which is totally okay. Um, I need to get this off, but I've just been lazy. Last two years, my vitamin D has been super low, and honestly, it's kicked my butt. It's made freaking the time 
very, very harsh um, on me. And yes, it's always harsh when it's dark at literally 4 p.m. It's dark when you wake up. It's dark when you go to sleep. You miss all the light because you're in school. You only get one hour a day for lunch. And you can't go outside because it's freaking 10 degrees outside. Um, it's a very vicious cycle for me. But oh, this is one of my favorites. Definitely getting my vitamin D together has helped me so much. Um, and has also just helped me manage my anxiety a lot more than I was doing when I did not know what was wrong. So, I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, I do know some of my followers do live in Minnesota or they visit Minnesota. So, I hope you guys survived the 10 week period. You guys know what I mean by that, but basically it's 10 weeks where the days are the darkest and the sun is out the least. Um, and those are not usually the coldest days, but obviously it's cold here, so they're gonna be cold. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I mean when I refer to the 10 weeks. Mostly the period that sucks the most because then when you get to end of July, you are just so happy to see the sun um, I don't count down the 10 weeks, but I immediately noticed when it was right outside at 4.30. I actually shed a happy tear, um, because it just feels so good to know that. We made it through the hardest part again. <laughs> like, it's always an accomplishment for me because it has been tough. So, yeah, I hope you guys made it through your 10 weeks well. And I hope you guys are all doing okay and enjoying this video. I've had a lot of requests for this video since my last one's, like, two years old and honestly I've been putting it off because obviously this is so many cups like it's almost ridiculous <laughs> at this point if you're watching it you deserve like a high five or something because this has been so freaking long but yeah I'm thinking of doing kind of like a surprise like if you um buy a cup from me and you also follow me on YouTube already, like if you're watching this video right now, um, then I'll throw in an extra cup or a little surprise or something um, into your cup order. I know these cups are expensive. This is one of my oldest cups. I love it. It's watermelons. I have a pineapple one too that I broke, but then I ended up being able to find another. But yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to do a like... If you follow me on YouTube, I don't know. But I'll post more about that on my Instagram if I do decide to do something extra for my YouTube followers. Midnight Beauty with all the sparkles. This one too. I love red and green. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. That's just kind of where we are at right now. This is an old one too. I don't remember what year this is from. Let's see. 2015. This is like OG stainless steel. But yeah, there's that. Okay guys, these last ones are too tall for me to reach. So I'm gonna put the camera up there and you guys can see for yourself. Um, but yeah, I do not want to get on a chair because that's super dangerous and I have all my camera equipment right here and I don't want to damage any of it. So those are the last few that are up there. The lighting is horrible on that one, let me see. Um, the lighting's horrible, so I'm literally using my phone to light it up a little bit better for you guys. But, but yeah, that is the end of my cup collection. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your support. I appreciate all the people that have joined me on this amazing Starbucks journey and on all my cup hunting adventures. I'm so thankful for all of you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you liked this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I will still have other Justice Fun content coming for you. 